Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CEO Pivotal, Rob Me. Hi, everyone. So I got here in the middle of the conference, and uh, I was, got to the hotel, and I went to my room, and I started walking around, and I was mobbed by people from Pivotal saying, Rob, come here, you have to hear this story. You know, one of, some of our users said this. One of our customers was on stage and said that. And, like, and some other Pivotal folks came up, and I was, I was like, okay, take a breath, everybody. <laughs> I can't listen to everyone at once. So literally, they were so excited by what had happened here. And I want to thank all of you for coming and making it that amazing of an event. Um, really appreciate it. And then also, a quick thank you to Andrew and Peter and their team for, for putting this on. It was a hell of a lot of work. And uh, I, I was, I'm really grateful to them for that. So, um, you know, we heard from a lot of our customers here, uh, City, Comcast, Home Depot, Kroger, Allstate. Lots of great sessions going on. Um, most attended sessions were Josh Long with Cloud Native Java and Jurgen Haller for Modern Java Component Design with Spring 4.3. So congratulations, you guys, on having some really well attended stuff. Um, just great feedback, and uh, you know, thanks for taking the time to, to learn about Spring, um, what we're doing with it, where it's going, and how it works with, uh, with Pivotal's platform, with our Cloud Foundry platform. So I um, wanted to take a little bit back before I tell you about Pivotal and Spring and where that's going. Um, you know, I've been running Pivotal for a long time now. I founded Pivotal Labs decades ago. But up until we had about 30 people, I was programming full time. Um, which you could say was a mistake for someone trying to grow a company, not maybe a first-time entrepreneur, kind of a mistake. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And the last time I was actually getting paid to program, back in about 2005, I was using Spring. And um, you know, little did I know that in the intervening years when Pivotal Labs would do lots of Ruby and lots of JavaScript and lots of web apps and kind of moved away from Java and Spring, that all of that would come back. Right? And Spring itself uh, would come roaring back. And, and that's what it's done. And as part of Pivotal, that's super exciting. That's super exciting for me. So today, um, you know, when we do Pivotal Labs engagements and we work with customers, co-develop with them side by side, and we build things, over 60% of those engagements are using Spring. Right? That's, that's really huge. If you look back a few years ago, you probably would have said it's about 5% of our engagements were using Spring. So in the enterprise, Spring is just the most demanded framework. Um, it's the way that customers, our customers like Home Depot and Comcast, JP Morgan Chase, Manulife and City, that's how they're engaging with us. Um, that's what they want to do. They want to do Spring. So Spring is actually a huge growth engine for Pivotal. And I tell you this because most of you are here because you're very invested in Spring. Many of you have been for many, many years. And when you think about its future and you think about Pivotal as a custodian of that technology, I think it's important for you to know how we feel about it and where we think it's going. And the answer is, you know, it really is part of our future. And it's not Pivotal pushing Spring. This is you know, Spring pushing Pivotal. You know, it's, it's really a synergistic um, environment for us to live in. Right? And we do live in that environment. Pivotal lives in the Spring environment. So um, you know, we as a company, and, and myself personally, we're 100% committed to the technology. Um, we're super excited about it. Um, I'm hoping to see you all next year. Um, and also know that you know, a lot of you have, have uh, been learning about, many of you have used Pivotal Cloud Foundry, our platform. Um, just for you, that is the Spring platform, and we're going to continue that as well. So that's what I've got today. And thank you very much for coming again. Mm -hmm.